Hey guys! Welcome back to Hexen! And there's something that I remembered in the previous level that we were doing. It's not gonna be fun. I'm not going to spoil anything. But I just want I just need to make sure that I'm going through the right door. Because there's something that we need to get in here that is going to help us out a lot. Let me actually turn my own volume up. This is a little bit quiet. There we go. Now, is this the right way? Um, I don't think it is. No, it's... Is it? Whoa! Because there's a Wings of Wrath that we need to get in here, and we need to try and get it as quick as possible. Uh... Is it over here? I... Thing is, there's two doors in here. And I forget which one leads to it. Because this is not exactly a full circle. It's more like a circle of like the, um, for you guys that know the Omega symbol, it's like that, it's like, it's not like, it's not a full circle, it's like a, there's a wall. Sucks a bit off. That Eden, I believe, is about to die. And as you guys see right there, with the red wings, that is a dragon. We have to fight it and kill it. Good luck. And the second we and wait, the second we walk in here, that dragon is going to see us, and he's powerful as hell. Like I said, he's going to see us as soon as we walk in. Here. Now we have to be careful, or I have to be careful, or we're going to die very easily. Like I said. He's not exactly anything to sneeze at! Jesus. Okay, let's get into this little al alcove stuff. What the hell? Yeah, his fire is um, basically just two different hits with it. There's the initial fireball, and then there's the fireball explosion. Now, the fireball itself does do some damage, but... The explosion actually does more damage than the actual fireball itself. Which, uh, if I must be honest, I'm a little bit scared right now. Because we can easily die from this thing, and I really don't want to. Just making sure. Okay, good. Just going around right and getting any mana that might be left over because the more mana we got to fight this thing, believe me, the better. <sighs> I'm not gonna be happy about this, but let's do it. Wyvern! Yeah! Incinerated is the understatement of the year! As you guys see, yeah, that guy is powerful! One direct bar barrage at your dead. <laughs> there's no... There's no other two ways to put it. Now... When you're playing on the easiest level in this game... Uh, oh, on this level... As I mentioned in the previous video... Your quartz flasks get used up automatically. But this we have to use the we have to use up the quartz flasks manually. Which means it's a little bit of multitasking. Which as you guys could probably guess that's not going to be easy. 
gonna send you to hell. <laughs> oh shit, here comes the barrage. But luckily, the fireballs don't explode unless they hit an object. Like if they hit a wall. As you guys seen there, there was a. Uh, God damn it! Yeah, this guy is hard! And one thing I honestly recommend using is a Icon or the Defender. That way, while you're flying around, you can actually keep your ass protected. Now, unlike the invincibility or the invulnerability from Doom, this does not alter the screen in any sort of way. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I had to use that, or we're gonna die! Yeah, for some reason, the... Icon of the Defender acts like a, like, partial inv invisibility, do you guys see? This is weird. Like, the Porculator will not work on this. We cannot turn this thing into a cake and kill it very easily. Uh-oh. Yeah, so quickly. Okay, this is bad. My face is currently covering right where the Wings of Wrath is shown. So I don't uh, know. Oh, that is... That is no bueno. Oh, Dragon's dead! A little bit easier than I thought. Rock the Dragon. <clears throat> I think the Dragon's dead. Um, yeah, Dragon's dead. That's a little bit easier than I thought, well... I'm gonna head on to the next area. Your mind's still reeling from it, from your encounter encounters within the hyper style. You stagger toward what you hope is a way out. Things seem to move faster and faster. Your vision blurs and begins to fade. As the world collapses around you, the brightness of a teleportal engulfs you. A flash of light, and then you climb wearily to your feet. You stand atop a high tower, and from below come the screams of the damned. You step forward, and instantly the sound of demonic chanting chills your blood. By all the gods of death, what place have you come to? By all the gods of pain, how will you ever find your way out? Okay, are we playing a video game, or are we reading like fucking, like, death metal lyrics. Like, what is happening? Okay, heads up. Because everything you're saying sounds metal is fucking I hell. Be merciful. Then again, maybe not. Oh. I thought this was another, another level. Oh, I hate this Place. I just remember something. So guys, welcome to Heresich's Seminary. Where basically this place has been overrun by a bunch of evil monks. I assume they're monks. Yeah, that, are, that is bent on killing us. And you guys... I'd go with like evil cultists or like Satanists or something. I'd probably be closer to what you're fighting, but... Goddammit. And that metal ass. Yeah, thing that's what they are up there, shooting the green projectiles at us. And they're quite distinguishable compared compared to the um, other enemies that's in this game. Because those guys, I forget what they're called, are actually what does the demonic chanting. When they first see you, they go, um. Okay, then they're monks. As they're you guys right, just are heard there from that little. Thing. Thing. Well, yeah, there's something I've remembered about this place. Is that. I, I'm not going to spoil it. 
but the hell? Can we kill you? Thank you. Yeah, there's something we get in here. I'm actually makes me kind of glad that we're here, if I must be honest. Now what that is, I cannot say. Will you just hurry up and die? Now inside here will be lit up shortly, if it's not already. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh, that lighting is nice! The lighting's not that good on the N64 version, if I remember correctly. What was easy doing? That lighting was nice. I must be honest. Pete, you know, every time you say that, I think you're saying cheesy to do. Why, Eddins? Die, you friggin' evil! I don't know what the hell. Bishop! That's what they are! Evil bishops! And they're a pain! Worship me! Oh, like the trust And I may yet be merciful. Then again, Jesus. maybe not. Get out of here, you evil demonic face! I'm not gonna say who that is! You guys will see him later in the game. Because I think in the first or second episode of this, I kind of spoiled a bit too much. So that's why I'm being I'm being much more watchful by what I'm saying and actually saying very little. Because I don't want to say any more than what I would have. Or I don't shoot those mushrooms unless you do it intentionally. Because those mushrooms have the same effect as what these fletches do. Set out poisonous gas. Uh, I thought they just get you fucking, like, really high. No, it, it, just suff it, it just suffocates you. Are you sure they're not magic mushrooms that get you high and make you see cool shit? No. This is dicks. Okay, and then it's Donald Trump. Out of the way. Looks like Toad from Mario. That is an awesome. That was a thing <laughs> that was trending not long ago. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Got these fucking bishops everywhere! Jesus! Oh god's sake! Oh, Pedro Might! Lovely, thank you! Damn it! There's no one in there yet. I'll explain more of that later. Right now... We need to try to get our asses in a safe place by getting something... By getting the door open. Which is not exactly gonna be easy, as you guys can currently see. These bishops can die. No way! Oh yeah, this thumbnail from the previous episode of this? That was literally the first thumb that was the default thumbnail that you took it by itself. I'm not kidding, that was literally the first thumbnail I did. I just had to go with it. It looks freaking awesome. Oh good. The bitch is in bed up right now. Die, thank you. Okay, now I believe there's six. There's six um, switches we have to put in here. There's three down. There's three down back that way. 
And I believe there's... Okay, that's sealed off. Oh god. Grab that mana and run. And there's three over here. Yep, there's six. Thank you for let me uh, for letting us suck the life from you, you jerk. Okay, good. Still got loads of time. Um. Okay. Now there's a door that just opened, but I forget which one. I do believe it is on this side, though. Um, okay. <sighs> I pause because I don't want to get hit and I need to uh, let my memory refresh on something. Uh, where is this? Because it's been a long ass time since the last time I played this game. Okay, 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 I just, I just remembered, I just remembered. Okay. It's actually down here. Yeah! As you guys see... These centaurs now shoot, shoot blue far, blue projectiles at us. Which makes them even more annoying. If these things were bad enough as it is. No, let's make these jerk... Uh, let's make these jerk faces shoot projectiles from their shields while they block their shots at the exact same time. Ow. Fight fire with fire, jerk face. Okay. Now, I need to remember which door is this. Okay, so it's not these, but those men are uh, actually quite nice. It must be this one then. Yep. Now, there's something that we are going to see in here that is going to be really nice. How much I do this? We're going to get that. Now, I want you guys to get a good look at this right here. It actually has a little tiny blue skull on it. Let me show you guys what it is. This is the Cleric's Cross of Wrath Verge. Let me show you guys here. Fine looking thing, isn't it? I can't wait to show you guys what this thing can do. Because this is by far my most favorite weapon in the whole game. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna. W I'm not gonna waste the shots on those idiots. Wait a minute. Um, there's a portal that's been opened up down here, isn't it? Homemade ghosts, anybody? Yes, as I mentioned in a previous episode, there is a weapon that shoots ghosts. I didn't say, or well, I say the Wrathforge weapon shoot, shot ghosts. But I never said who had the Wrathforge weapon that actually pulled. You guys, from the first piece that we gathered, it was Wrathforge symbol. Or, or it was the uh, first piece of the Wrathforge weapon. So, that's why I wanted to keep as quiet as possible because, as I said, I already spoiled too much. But yeah, these are the very ghosts that goes through walls, goes through ceilings and floors, hunting, out, uh, hunting down any nearby enemies, and blowing them apart from the inside out.
and am I excited as I sound right now? Yeah! Sam's yeah, so excited and you just can't hide it. You're about to lose control and you think you like it. Yeah, from you guys what's seen earlier on in this series. Yeah, these deaths are completely different. You can actually see his freaking guts hanging out on the ground. I believe what happens with the Eddins is that their 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 torso gets blown off from their waist with wise and their torso also splits down the middle. So they essentially get blown into three different pieces. And those guys lose their head. For example, going through walls right there. Now, observe. Nothing can stop these things. They ev they even go through the uh, shields of these centaurs here. Or at least they die before they even get the chance to put these guys. Ow! Sometimes the ghosts will go after you if they get reflected by something, or if you happen to be in the way of them. But yeah. <laughs> that laughter was very much deserved. Oh yes. Oh, I feel like such a badass. We are on or or orchid or no orchard of lamentations. Oh yeah, one thing I will recommend about this section level down here is saving it. And you guys just see one second. This floor It is possible for you to die very easily. Because essentially, there's eight elevators, and you have to travel through each one. You have to go around in a circle. And the corner ones are not bad. It's the middle ones that's a pain in the ass. Because you have to be precise. You got to make sure that works. Now, it, it, the funny thing about this section is, it's possible to get a Eden onto an elevator and crush him to death. We have to make sure that one of them is actually on an elevator. Live in an elevator, living it up, and we're going down. Like that, for example. Because essentially, this will open up. Oh god! Yeah, this will open up a ninth. Well, this will open up a room in the in the center. I'll just cut this if you want. Uh, I love this weapon, but it uses up a lot of mana. <laughs> How much is that? Uses, I believe he uses 18 mana per shot. Which is a lot. Oh yeah. What the hell? That one opened up another room. Okay, good. Thanks for dying. Okay. Just making sure that... We can actually pull the switch and get our game. There we go. Okay. Yep, we're out of uh, mana. Damn it. Yep, we can't even select a weapon. We're um, we're so drained out of it. Yeah, not even one piece. Of mana can actually re recharge it. You need at least two to even fire one shot. Right, this thing is mana hungry. 
have you guys seen? This thing is really deadly. And I love it to death. Because of it. Because it's so powerful. Now, the fighter's weapon is the sword. Aquitus that fires off three, uh, five green projectiles straight ahead. And I think... Uh, I believe a direct hit with... Three or five of the projectiles can kill the um, an enemy the same way as what this weapon does. The uh, mage gets the um, gets the blood scorch weapon, which is a um, skull on a stick holding a red, uh, clutching a red orb. That literally, when you fire the weapon, the eyes get. Basically, the eyes light up as if they're about ready to shoot a freaking fireball. Which is pretty awesome. Those three shots, those three homing shots, will destroy an enemy just like this one does. But this one, I find, I, I believe with the Blood Scorch weapon, you have to hit with at least two shots. In order, in order to blow some, uh, either to, to blow someone up. With this, just one, just one press of the trigger, boom! A whole room full of enemies down. I believe, if memory serves me correctly, this can kill four to six enemies in one press of the trigger. So you just press it, you press it once, just let it, just let it fire for a single shot, and boom, four to six enemies dead. Well, I'm actually a bit low on uh, health here. And basically, once you get this powerful, you can just literally just use the edits just of the farmhouse. I mean, well, you can literally do it from the beginning, but I think you guys get the gist. Die! And I don't think the efforts die any differently. I think those guys do. I think they just, like, freaking dissolve. Damn it. Out of mana again. Okay, good. There's another icon in the front of here because we're going to need that. Don't get us, ghosts, please. Don't get us. Okay. Ow, what the hell? We seriously just got fireball in the back. Ghost? Jesus. Okay. Now, we can come- we can go down here. Ah, uh, go to the and that will take us to another section, which I forget what's down here. Yeah, I forget what's down here. Or what's down there, I should say. It's probably... Yeah. Rob doesn't know proper grammar or English. Hey, I don't either, so you're fine. <clears throat> I've apparently I've already been speaking bro uh, uh, ungrammarly ungrammarly correct or grammatically correct in English and Smingli Smingish Whatever the hell that is It's something me mother says like um anytime like um any one of us like um or mainly me since I'm the one that always messes up my my Talking. Hey, I don't have a great track record either, dude. Okay, now what we got are planets. Now these go into this gigantic wheel. There's a sapphire uh, planet. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm, hmm. That hmm sound you guys hear? That's what happens when you hmm. try to place a planet into the wrong spot. Now, that's actually going to have to do for this time, guys. Next time, we're going to be continuing through this level and getting more of the planets. 
But oh my god, I'm so glad we got this weapon. Oh, as you guys see, this weapon is destructive. Oh yeah! Pair this with several craters of might, you are literally unstoppable. See you guys. Fire your ghosts at the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Oh, this is gonna be a nice, nice feast of death coming at us from now on. Believe me, it's gonna be glorious.